we look for a lot of different things. One, well, we just say, just generally speaking, you have to do well in your classes where you're at. Okay, we like to have students with above a 3.0 GPA. We'd like students to take a full load of classes every semester. Okay, a minimum of 12 units in good, solid courses. Okay. Um, Certain majors here are going to require certain courses. If you're interested in business, for example, we are going to look to make sure that you have a strong math foundation. Okay, we'd like you to have what you need to have through business calculus with a greater B or better. Okay? Um, for the sciences, obviously, we hope that you do well in, in math, through calculus, and the sciences. If you're an English major, we're not going to expect you to take calculus, but we're going to expect you to take some really solid English and literature classes. We're going to expect you to be good writers. Film and television is probably the most competitive major here. Very, very, very competitive for transfer students. And that is a whole other issue. If you're interested in that, please see me afterwards. Um, we will talk about that. Um, any questions right off the bat about uh, the transfer process or anything you've heard me talk about so far? Um, does LMU offer any communication journal? We do. Communication studies, again, is, is a very, very popular major. So we've got five colleges and schools here at LMU. You're going to apply directly to a major when you apply. Okay? And it's especially important as a transfer student that you apply to a major um, that you've taken some sort of class in before, too. Like you wouldn't want to apply as a comp studies major if you've never taken an English class, if you've never taken a full load of classes, meaning 12 semester units. Okay? Um, these are things that I hope to be able to work with you with throughout the process. I would hope that you would contact me before you want to transfer so we can set up a schedule of classes. We have what are called articulation agreements with all of your schools, okay? Um, these articulation agreements are the best, my favorite tool when I'm counseling students on what it takes to transfer here. Essentially, you've got <laughs> the LMU requirements, what current students here at LMU are taking, and you've got your college's equivalent course, all right? I was talking to somebody earlier, there's no mystery here, there's no secret handshake, there's nothing that we're <laughs> going to keep from you, okay? We want to be very upfront, it's my job to be very open and honest with what it takes to be here, and I'm going to show you the classes you need to take, and I'm going to tell you the grades you need to get. And if you do those things, there's no reason why you can't be here. There's no reason, all right? You take those classes, you get those grades, I can practically guarantee you'll be here. Right. Yes, sir. Um, uh, as far as the majors go, do you know if they're going to like uh, possibly limit or stop majors such as maybe the business law? Um, I noticed in the articulation that from 09 or 10, that was, they don't really have the courses for that. And we're going to run on revamping those, okay? I will, uh, that's another good reason to contact me directly because I'll make sure you get the actual courses that you need to take there, okay? Um, now that brings up a good question though. I mean, sometimes, for instance, in the spring, you know, generally we take fewer transfer students in the spring. We take about 100, maybe 150, whereas in the fall we take between 300 and 350 transfer students, okay? Last year, we had a, uh, it was really tight for communication studies majors. Actually, communication studies said we have no room, we're overflowing, we can't accept anybody. All right, these are good things to know when you're going through the transfer process. Another reason why you want to get a hold of me before you actually apply to see what these university situation looks like. Okay, we've made a commitment that we're going to admit 300 to 350 uh, transfer students every fall, between 100 and 150 transfer students every spring. But that turnaround in the spring, especially, is, is kind of tight. And as long as you can expect that and you're aware of, the, of how that whole process works, it doesn't have to be as stressful. That's a good question. This business is pretty competitive. And did you have a question? Yeah.